Hey guys, I had two students ask about creating a histogram in the bin width to match the pictures that show up. And I'm just stealing this question off of a quiz so that we can talk about it. The first thing is I am seeing my data here and I'm going to open it in StatCrunch. And I see the SAT scores is here and I'm actually gonna move that. This is a great thing to know too. I'm gonna change the row to be called SAT scores, and then I'm going to delete this row with the information that's not our data value. So I'm going to click on that row and it highlights purple. And if I click Edit Rows, then I'm able to go and delete. So I went to Edit Rows, Delete. I want to do that, so I hit Compute, and it's gone. So now I have my row, etc. The next thing I can do just to give myself an idea when I look at these histograms is I can sort the data. And so if I go and sort it, I sort that column. This is helpful too because it gives me a new column and I see that I need to go from 526 to whatever the high value is. And so then I can look at some of these histograms and I notice this one has 480 so I can automatically reject histogram C. I can histogram A, it starts in the 500, so it's a possibility. Histogram D, maybe a possibility. And histogram B, maybe a possibility. And what I note is that for all three of those possibilities, they're starting here. I note that the width between 480 and 560 is 80, and they're doing two of those. So the width of any one of these rectangles is 40. So that's going to be my width of each rectangle. This point right here is half of one of those rectangles away. So this is 20 away from 480, which is 500. So it's going from 500 to 540, 540 to 580, etc. So when I go in back to StatCrunch and create my graph, for it doesn't matter whether you do SATs or scored, sorted SAT scores, I want my bin to start at 500. That's where we found those all starting, and we want the width to be 40. Then I hit Compute, and I get this picture. And then I can compare that picture with my histograms. Doesn't look like that one. I have three here. So I have three, one, a tall one, et cetera. And so if I compare that, sorry, I can't keep that up at the same time. That's the one it is. That's how I'm able to figure it out. I hope that helps.